Hello, everyone, and welcome to this fourth episode of this chess endgame tactics series. And today we feature a monster knight. Uh, so in this position, it is black's turn to move. Uh, what would you do here? It looks like, you know, white, at first glance, it looks like white may be winning with these three passed pawns and the bishop. Um, but the problem is white's king is trapped in here uh, by the black king and these two pawns. Uh, so what would you do here as black? So check this out. Um, pause the video if you need more time to think. Uh, if not, let's take a look here. All right. Uh, if we look at the analysis... So the evaluation gives black as winning here. And uh, the important moves are either knight to d2 or knight to d6. And so if we begin here, uh, let's take a look at... Um, well, we'll take a look at knight to d6 first here. And this shows... After knight to d6, there is a mate in six moves here. So, uh, in this position, let's say uh, this pawn is attacked and white just protects the pawn with a4. Well, now the knight can jump down here to e4, closer to this king. Uh, and the threat is going to be uh, repositioning this knight uh, where it can check here and deliver a mate on e2. Uh, so, you know, white must do something here to try and prevent this. Uh, so, h4, if that is played, uh, well then now knight to g3 could be played. And the king could move up here, attack the knight, uh, but, you know, of course, the knight is protected. And after knight to e2, uh, allowing or threatening to promote this pawn, and it would be protected. Uh, but then again, the bishop is here keeping an eye on things. So, you know, maybe the game could continue with this pawn marching forward. Uh, but now we have knight to f4. Uh, and... You know, if the bishop, let's say, moves here to attack the knight, well then g3 can be played. And so, uh, what can white do but march back here in front of the pawn, uh, but now we have knight to e2. So, this is just one possibility of how this game could go. Uh, if we go back to the very beginning... Uh, another option is knight to d2 here. Uh, and then after, uh, let's say, if you know this knight was ignored and the pawn just tries to march up here for promotion, uh, then we would have knight to e4, the pawn moves, uh, knight to g5, uh, threatening a mate here. So you know if the pawn promotes, then we would just have knight to h3 with mate. So these are all the things that uh, white must watch out for because of this monster knight here. All right, so if we go back to this uh, knight to d2 move, you know, maybe h4 could be played uh, to try and you know, send this pawn up the board running. Uh, but now g3 could be played just really trapping this white king down here and then after uh, let's say bishop to g7 knight to e4 now the bishop you know reroutes here uh, but the knight could just go here and if capture pawn captures the king would escape for a minute, uh, but queen, after promotion of this pawn with check, and the king tries to escape, uh, but queen to g2 here. So, 
you know, even though if we look at this initial position, even though these pawns, uh, three passed pawns are ready to march up the board, uh, this knight, if it finds the right move with knight to d2 or knight to d6, they both lead to uh, mate and seven uh, or less if white uh, doesn't play accurately. But yes, this knight is just a monster knight. And the problem is that white let his king uh, become stuck here uh, behind this black pawn and the king is helping to just really restrict this white king. And that made all the difference in this example here. All right, well, just remember you can combine study of tactics and chess endgames uh, by you know, putting them together in more exciting endgames that feature endgame tactics. Uh, that way you can kind of get uh, you know, the study of both of those important areas of chess knocked out with uh, one interesting position such as this. Uh, and there are many others. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave comments or suggestions. And stay tuned for more chess endgame tactics. Uh, thank you everyone and have a great day.